Hi, I'm Maldnik, and today I'm making a new map, and so I thought I'd show you the process of how I do it, and you can all tell me how I do it wrong. So, making a new map. Generally, I stick to tamper it because I feel it has less mist and cloud over the top of it, and I really don't like that. I mean. Tropical has a kind of haziness um, over it, which really annoyed me about Tropico 5. Um, maybe all the Tropico games, like I just the way of making your game look prettier by having haze or mist over the top of it, thus occluding my view of the city that I'm building. Uh, obviously, that means I have less awareness of what's actually going on and it just annoys me because when you're trying to manage stuff and having to zoom in and out to try to actually see things um, I mean obviously I can actually see everything but it's just it's meaningless it's like the tilt shift function and the film gram function it's only useful for taking a good screenshot but anyway I uh, thought this time I'd make a tropical map, even if it does have that haze over it. Um, it'll look different, and life is boring if you do the same thing all the time. So here is our blank tropical map, and as you can see, that is the haziness that annoys me. It's in tropical, you have the additional sun haze, it's like it's permanent sunset or sunrise, or just you have permanent smog. And that's not even very realistic, because when you're in the tropics, the sun is more or less above you. It's not on the horizon. But anyway, we'll deal with that. Given that there is that sun haze, I feel that we should orientate our city towards the sun, or at least taking into account the sun. So, obviously, we should have the beach with the sunset slash rise facing towards it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just pause it because when I dig out the coast I don't want water all coming in because that just will be distracting. So I'm just cutting away to the base, the bedrock. Um, this is not what the coast is going to look like, it's just I just find that it's easy to start with some height level zero, roughly where your coast slash harbour is going to be, in order to then eventually make the slopes that you're going to be using. So what's the next step? The next step is that we need to plan what we actually want our city to look like. So, after that pause to actually get a plan for myself, I thought I'd have a kind of harbour um, with docks. And then, obviously, that only makes sense if there's something protecting it. So, I thought maybe I'd have actual mountains going here, and so we'd have, instead of a complete beach ocean scene, we'd have the ocean going out there and have mountains there somehow. That obviously then connects up to mountains here. And then we will have a river next to a river delta of sorts near the port but not on the port and that will form this kind of the center of our city and the river will sort of sweep like that. Uh, a friend of mine has dared, well not dared me, has, uh, has encouraged me to make an oxbow river and given my problems with last, with my last map I kind of think it would be an interesting challenge to see if I can do it better, do a river bend better than previously. So I thought I'd put
put such a thing kind of there. But I also want to space limit myself, so I want a lot of mountains. So if I, for instance, hmm. yeah, I think we'll have the river go up there. We'll have the mountains here-ish. Actually, come right up to the edge of this oxbow, I think. And then, kind of, sort of coastal. Actually, no. Given we do want a space limit ourselves. It's obviously going to look better than this. Um, rough outlines. See, that actually gets gives us a lot of space. So, you'd probably be going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, probably that. Maybe... Yeah, I'm gonna ruin that, that square. Bring this mountain up. This range up. Perhaps... Perhaps dig that out. ocean preventing us from building there, rather than mountains. Oh, oh, this, this looks better. Then bring those here. Now, do you want the sun setting like that? Well, the sun setting over here. I guess we can make s sunset over mountain peaks look romantic. So, something like that. Because the thing is that you can spend, you can actually fit a lot of city in one square. And we don't want a sprawling metropolis, we want something tight and fun. Now, I thought at this point, after some consideration, maybe I've cut too much away. And so then I thought, maybe this would be an ideal time to try an export and then import. In that I'm going to export make uh, and here all the height maps are going to be in essentially your app data local class order see skylines add-ons map editor height max uh, folder so here is our file so we're going to select and maybe cut there So, if I move that down, this point, okay, and then I fill. black we can right now we can just uh, do some, a bit of experimentation see what happens Ooh.
see what this does. And the uh, nice thing about this is that we can just erase all that because this is in an unimportant bit, an unimportant area. And now we import our weirdly mutated map. So yeah, you can see the power of the PNG here. So what we need to do is firstly we're going to just even all of this out. with an actual massive brush because that experiment was just in terms of fun in games now continue on this mountain range here this mountain range probably and the river so that's our basic plan we have probably going to like that. we're going to have the beach out a bit more smooth have a beach, have a river and so this will limit our space but not too much so, so yeah that's uh, that's our basic outline of our map and next episode we will get down to the nitty gritty of actually turning this into reality so see you next time.